All right, so I've made myself some kind of janky little spool holder thing, and you got a real-time spool of me unspooling something in the corner. But basically, I got two pieces. You could use the separate filament holders if you wanted to. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your filament you are unspooling, grab the unthreaded tube, stick that through the thing, wrangle all of your weird filaments spewing everywhere, and then pop that into the corresponding notch on the smaller, skinnier holder. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is grab the threaded rod uh, and your whatever spool you're using. I'm using the non-bamboo spool because they have the nice little nubs you can stick your filament into. And you're gonna take your giant uh, threaded screw things, pop those on the rod, thread your spool in between them, put the other screw on, and tighten until it holds things in place. The nice thing about this is it works with a bunch of different types of hole diameters for your spools. Um, pop that onto the other wider stand, and you'll also notice that there are some little holes where you can stick bits onto for your drill bits. Um, they'll work with a flathead or they'll work with any kind of sort of generic hex collet thing. Uh, there's also a manual version, and there is also a version with a 3D printed sort of thing coming out of it. You, like, tighten the collet on your drill around, which seems sketchy to me, so I'm not using that one. Anyway, I've also made this weird centerpiece spacer doodle that you can kind of pop in between your pieces. It'll kind of hold stuff in place. Honestly, not super sure if that's necessary, but it's there if you want it. Probably don't print it unless you, you're having issues with your stuff flopping all around all crazy. Anywho, so at this point, I'm going to take the filament and I'm going to stab it into my little side hole. Um, and the nice thing, it turns out, this sort of design that I have with the, the angled portion kind of holds your filament in place, which is convenient. So you're going to pop that back in place, grab your drill, and start spooling. Um, now I messed this up a few times because I had my drill bit in tightened. There was like a, a tangle in the original spool, so I had to kind of like take everything out, and then everything got loose, and I had to redo it as a whole thing. Anyway, um, but either way, assuming your spools aren't covered in weird tangles, it seemed to work pretty good. Took about two minutes to uh, spool things, and then once I was done, I was able to, in like 30 seconds, pack the thing back up, break it down, whatever, pile it into a little pile, and stick it off in a shelf somewhere. So, I don't know, I'm pretty happy with this. Took less than a kilogram of filament to print. Um, a little, I think, under 15 hours, so this will be nice, save some time. Plus, now I have an external spool holder, which is great. You could also definitely use this with something like a uh, filament dryer. Instead of printing both spool holders, just like stick your other piece in the filament dryer and spool it out of there. That would also definitely work. Anywho, yeah. <laughs>